Welcome to Lambdas.com in the lab video series on Cisco SD-WAN 20.8. This is Matha, your instructor for this video series. For a complete list of SD-WAN videos, you can visit our website under Routing Switching section. There you can also sign up for our newsletters to receive the latest video updates. In the last video, when we went through the Cisco SD-WAN bring up process, I mentioned that you have two deployment options on the controllers. Either goes with the Cisco Cloud hosted version, so all of the controllers will be installed and hosted for you by Cisco. And there's nothing that you need to do in terms of installations. Or if you rather have full controls of the virtual instances, you can install the controllers in your company public cloud or on-prem data center. Here we will be installing the controller in our lab, although we will kind of pretend that there are cloud servers if you have already decided to go with the Cisco hosted cloud controllers, you can probably skip all the way to the end of the video where we install the trusted certificate on vManage because at that point your vManage will be up and running already. All right, so in this lab, we're going to go ahead and install our first of the three controllers that we need, which is the vManage. Let's take a look for the first time at our lab setup. On the left hand side, this is considered our lab minutes headquarters where we have a Windows 2019 domain controller, which will also run as DNS and certificate authority server on the server VLAN VLAN32 and has the IP address of 172.16.32.40. This VLAN is hosted on our core switch, switch 1, which has a loopback IP of 172.16.01. That switch has a connection to our internet firewall, which is a FTD device, has one side connected to the inside network and the other side connected to a subnet that leads them out to the internet. On the outside, we have a VRF call INET, which we are going to pretend that's the actual internet, although there's a path that goes out to the real internet. But for this, right, we're using it to host our so-called cloud controller servers. All right, because we are going to pretend that these guys actually lives out on the internet or looks like it's on the internet, but actually it's in our lab. It's on the VRF just because from the connectivity standpoint, it goes back to the same switch. So I'm using that same switch and kind of verf them out. All right, so the routing is independent on the outside. The subnet that we will be using for our controller is on VLAN 110 right, with the subnet 1.1.0 slash 24. With our three controllers sitting in there, the vManage, vBond, vSmart, with the current spring IP of 11, 12, and 13. Even though we are assuming that these controllers are on the internet, this could easily be an on-prem data center. Right? You just basically move all three of them into this orange box and treat them as an on-prem servers. Our focus here is to bring up the vManage, which is the servers on the left. Let's talk a little bit about the controller installation and the Cisco SD-WAN controller only comes in a virtual machine form factor. So you would need to have supported virtual environment of VMware ESXi or the KVM. If you want to deploy this in the public cloud, it also support Azure as of the version 20.6. So make sure you run the most recent release of the software to have that supported. Depending on the size of the deployment, the required hardware resources, as well as the number of nodes in the cluster may vary. Now let's take a look. And again, we're only dealing with the private cloud installation. Now let me bring up that guide for you. So right here, SD-WAN controller compatibility metrics and recommended computing resources. You can easily Google this. If you scroll down, this is specific for single tenant, which is what we're doing here in the lab. Now you can see there is a table that shows you the recommended computing resource for the vManage. You start off by deciding how many edge devices you're going to have in your deployment. And you can see right, from less than 250, you'll be needing 16 virtual CPU, 32 gig of RAM, and 500 gig of storage. And that scales all the way up to, let's see, 7,000 edge devices. Right, where you need for each of the nodes, and you can make a note of the number of nodes required as well for vManage, 32 CPUs, 120 gig of RAM, and one terabyte of storage. 